I'm with the placer of the oldest geocache in Canada, East River. And we're back, it's time to do the adventure maze. And here we are, look at that. That's us, right there, Cash Canada. Let's go in and take a look. We were already at this maze in BC, but now it's on the other side of the country in New Brunswick. Holy doodle. so cool to see the Adventure Lab maze again, and I think this is our fourth time. We now have four icons for this cache type, the GPS maze. Awesome. And look who we have here. It's Holy people. Doodle! Ivy Geocaching and Lylan Buttons. That's God. where we get all our cool swag stuff from. So good to see you again. Good to see you guys here. Yeah. Great to have you out east. And I know, and it's so close to home for you. I know, it's kind like, of. kind of, yeah. a little far, not as far as BC. BC no, was that, a lot farther. That's true, so there we go. And so they brought the maze out to see you. So they're, it's they're awesome. Great to have it on both coasts. Yes, good to see you again. Good to Make see sure you out. check out his website. There'll be a link in the corner or down in the description below. See you later. with the placer of the oldest geocache in Canada, East River. You placed, you didn't adopt that cache. No. You placed it. Yes. That's awesome. 28th of June, 2000. Mm -hmm. So we're coming up on 25 years in a couple of years. It'll be a big event then. Oh, yeah. So we have to return. If you're from, uh, if you're a CFA, you'll have to return. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, <laughs> uh, by then we might be living on the West Coast, so it'll be a complete country flyover. Well, there. We thank you for placing that cache. We found it a few years ago. Yes. And uh, it was an amazing experience to see the oldest geocache in the country. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, you may have to move because they're twinning the highway there now. Uh oh But hopefully we won't have to move it very far. Well, yeah, I think legally you can do 500 meters, but I think HQ might allow yeah. a little bit of bending of the rules. Maybe. Yeah. So, <laughs> any luck at all. Yeah, so, what, any words for the wise? Because you've been around since, like, almost the beginning now. Well, the beginning in Canada, but yeah. uh, the first cast was only a month or so ahead of me, the first one in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my cast was originally named GC41, yeah. which tells you how long ago oh, that was. Okay. But at that time, the geocaches belonged to geocaching.com. Ah. And they found out how big things were getting, they give yeah. them back to the placers, and for some reason they changed mine to GCBBA. Oh, okay, yeah. that's You've a been, bit of trivia. Yeah, you can still look up GC41, and it'll have my name on it, Yeah. right? But. Uh, Oh. A couple of years later, when I realized the significance of uh, the GC41 number, yeah. asked for that back. They said, no, there's too much data been produced, so they wouldn't do it. In oh. any case, 
it's indicated if you go to GCBA that yep. what its original number was. GC41. So. Yes. I'm going to look that up. Yep. That's pretty cool. And see yep. what it, see what I can find. Yeah. Should see my name on there. Let <laughs> they change that. <laughs> it was very nice to meet you and uh, ch uh, chat with you and let everybody see you on Cash Canada. Yep. So thanks very much. Well, by the way, just a word to the wise, yep. these Nova Scotia hats are not meant for geocaching. They're too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't like to wear mine all the time either. It's just, oh, yeah. It just traps the heat in. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, and don't forget to uh, cache Canada. Right on. All right. Thanks. Okay, thank you. The coordinates for this geocache are right in the middle of the parking lot. I mean, looking at that, and then you have to kind of figure out where would it be? But the hint says a hole, but that doesn't mean W-H-O-L-E, it says H-O-L-E. A lot of bending is required. And there just happens to be a tool right where I'm standing. Check this out. Right there. This little tool looks to me like you need to stick it in that hole and the cache will pop out of that hole. Watch this. Inserting it into the hole and pushing and There's the cash. And it's a great place to put a geocache right next to a wall with this giant mural on it and call it mural, mural on the wall. Awesome. And there's a geo tour here too at the Maritime Mega 5. And near this church, there's a kind of a picket gate fence with a little kind of roof over it. And we're doing the multi-cache for this geo tour. And if we get uh, some locations, not very many, we get all the locations. We've already done a couple and we get them all done. We get to have a geo coin tour. That's really cool. So we're working on that. And Lyric Lance was here busy counting the number of pickets and the number of slats. And she's gonna work out the calculation because you know, London Westie is not about math. That's all Lyric class. We've got the calculation and off to the next stage to see if we can find this multi. I'm not too good at multi sometimes. What about you? Let us know in the comments below. Look who we bumped into. It's a land monkey all the way from BC. And he's not doing the geo tour, but he's enjoying the mega, I'm sure. We are going to have a lot of fun here. We are really enjoying New Brunswick. Beautiful city. We were here, ooh, six, seven years ago, yeah. and they've really revitalized the town. So if you haven't been, or if you've been a long time ago, come on mm -hmm. back. Yeah. Uh, this Main Street area is amazing. So many great places to eat and drink and uh, great people to bump into and yeah. meet. And there's air conditioning because it's so bloody, <laughs> it's bloody hot here right now. It's brutal. Holy <laughs> doodle, we thought it would be cool. Anyway, they're all the way from BC on a big road trip in a camper. Flew to Ontario. We flew to, yeah, flew yeah. to Ontario. And now we're uh, making our way around. Uh, drove from, did the GeoArt and- The geocaching capital of Canada at Wilberforce. Also must do. 150 geocaches and- And the GeoArt. And the GeoArt. Another 100 is, caches. Oh, 100 caches, holy doodle. I mean, you know, yeah. it's only 250 caches. <laughs> <laughs> and they got them all, and we haven't even done it yet. Well, we did the geocaching hey, it's capital. it's in your backyard. Yeah, What's wrong I know. With you? <laughs> we just can't get up there. We're traveling all the world. <laughs> Anyway, and, it's uh, good to jump in. Uh, jump good to in. see you, buddy. I did that again. It's good to bump into you. Yes. Okay, awesome. We'll see some more of you, I'm sure. Okay. There we go. That's my... And I'm here at the New Brunswick uh, Sports Hall of Fame. And I've got to find the answer to a virtual. It's right here on this wall. And then I get another geocache with a geo tour. So I'm on the hunt. Wish me luck. Got the answer. And it's off we go to another geocache. I've got a couple more to go. Let's go. About a, it's a little more than a meter. <laughs> Yep. Swing. <laughs> Could you imagine raking these leaves? Holy doodle. And we could not stop for the world's largest maple leaf. Woo! 
Cash Canada. <laughs> From the world's largest maple leaf to the world's longest covered bridge, it's another geocache on our trip through New Brunswick for the Maritime Mega. Let's go take a look, see if we can find this one. It's a long way down. And the cool thing here is it also contains a covered walking area for the bridge so you can safely go and get the cash without getting smunched by the cars. <laughs> We got the cash, now we get to drive across the bridge. Hang on. Largest maple leaf, longest bridge, and now the biggest axe in the world. We found the brewery and a couple beers. Yeah, so cheers to you for joining us. Mmm, mm. good stuff. In dog years, I've only had one beer. <laughs> Got the Geo coin for the Fredericton portion of the Geo Tour. So you can get the coin for a limited number of geocaches in the area. But if you want the souvenir, you have to complete the entire Geo Tour, which includes other portions of the province. And uh, that's really cool. It's a really neat coin. And uh, discover if you want. Well, we finished up the Mega, and I have to say it was really nice to see so many great friends that we uh, uh, oftentimes don't get to bump into. And uh, it was really cool to see like almost half of Ontario uh, migrated into the Maritimes. That was pretty funny. Um, so we had a really good time, and it's a beautiful uh, portion of the country. This province is just gorgeous. Lots of trees and lakes and some great geocaches and lots of great places to visit. So thanks for coming along with us on this uh, trip to the Mega. I had a great time at the Mega visiting with old friends and new friends and seeing so much beautiful sights here in New Brunswick. There's so many landmarks in the small towns that we got to go and visit. It's, it was fun. Thanks for joining us here on this Mega episode. Here in Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you? To a Mega. In New Brunswick. Yeah, or anywhere else. Okay, while we're waiting, everybody look at the camera and say, Hi, Hi Dave. Dave. Hi, Hi, Dave. Dave. Hi, Dave.